Hey everybody, welcome to another flip through. This one's Achtung Panzer. This is the uh, new uh, rule set from uh, Warlock Games. And what we're going to do today is we're going to flip through it. Now, there are a lot of um, different YouTube channels that are teaching you how to play this. But let me just show you what the book looks like inside. It's a really nicely presented book. as And I think uh, Warlock Games is really getting good at presenting some really, really nice rule sets. <laughs> nicely. Um, it's a nice little glossy cover. You know... In the inside cover, you got this uh, nice little tank thing. Specs. It looks very, very nice. It's a, uh, dare I say it, Osprey quality. Um, you know, in terms of like uh, what you're gonna get inside. I had, I did, a, I did a quick flip through. So uh, yes, we start off with a bit of uh, flavor text, a little bit of uh, and a game overview right there. Different cards. Now off the bat, I mean, if I'm gonna compare this to any other Warlord games. Rule book. Um, they now tell teach you how to play with a lot more um, pictures, which I think is very very important. Um, it's attractive and also it you know it's easier for you to understand than bodies and bodies of text. And um, look at that. You know <laughs> I already like this because um, I always say you know if you're gonna sell a miniature game <laughs> rule book, put miniatures in it. And here you got the different miniatures and you got the different tanks and you got the different Shermans from the Fireflies to the Sherman 5 and stuff like that. Then you got rules on creating your tank platoon. Uh, again, all of these can be found um, all over the internet. Um, there are so many guys teaching you how to play uh, Achtung Panzer. Um, but, uh, so we won't really go through the, uh, the rules, but just a flip through of looking at all the, you know, the art stuff inside the book Sherman VC nice and then you got your cards I think even the cards are nicely designed uh, the uh, design um, team at Waller Games definitely up their game with this this route with this uh, book Cromwell yeah and I, I like this format though you've got you've got you know th this format looking through tanks looking at tanks so you got your 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 Panther then you got your Sherman and you got your Cromwell and I got, I got to suspect there'll be more tanks as you as you uh, flip the book because simply because well it's a, it's a tank book isn't it um now I, the other thing I like about Warlord Games books is they've got all this uh this little bits and blurbs which they put in and I think it's kind of great because uh it's it it feels like when you're uh, learning a game from somebody you know and you know, the guy's a long beard, you know, he tends to throw in all his little, like, uh, bits of uh, info, in fact. Um, and the rule book's written in, in just that way. So now you've got the idea for the concepts. I'm not sure why there's a, there's a Thompson uh, machine gun here. Oh, yeah, the crews use it. Okay. Um, now you've got a Puma right there. Let's look at the Puma right there. So it's, it's the same, it's the same design, I mean, how you feature your tank. You got the game turns uh, again. A little bit of uh, info. Oh, look at that. That's a that's a very nice piece of art right there. Now the the, the game actually uh, uh, puts some importance on whether uh, your your commander is you know buttoned up or not buttoned up and or hatch not or the hatch is open or closed, which I thought was kind of nice. Again, this is a tank game. This is a tank game. Uh, stuff like this is also kind of nice. This is the uh, Sherwood Rangers Yeomanry. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, most Warlord Games rule books have this. You know, they throw in stuff like that, which uh, which I don't really need. They don't really need to, but I'm glad they do because, you know, it adds a bit of gravitas to the rule book, if you ask me. Uh, more rules. Uh, and nice, uh, nice pictures of uh, tanks right here. How to pivot your tank. Ooh, that, that one looks good. That one looks really good. Oh, yeah, that one, this one. Very nice. Um, if you're gonna sell a, a miniature game, guys, you know, put lots of pictures. <laughs> it's a visual game, you know. The Panzer Four. Nice. A car in the distance, as you can hear. Lots of cars in this neighborhood. Okay, moving along, we got oh, nice, nice battle bell a scene right there um probably letting you know what the what the game is going but i think the game is much much smaller than this i think 
Uh, moving along, you got the rules. It's a uh, lots of um, lots of rules. Getting it down. More tank art. Just really really nice. Again, if you're looking for somebody to talk about the rules, um, there are many 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 channels. They actually do. They are even doing uh, battle reports now, which is which is good. Which is really good. Sherman Easy Eight. Oh yes, the Easy Eight. You, you, you know you're gonna see the Easy Eight on the table uh, very very commonly. Uh, and then some terrain. It's great rule book that, that talks about terrain, as they should. It's a miniature game after all. Oh, and then you got like a uh, you know badges. Things like that. I, I like that. That's what that's one of the things I really really like about Warlock Games books, is they uh they throw all these little bits in it, bit bits like that, you know, and you know, in <laughs> infantry when they, you know you're not really using infantry. I got oh look at that. That's really really nice. That's really really nice. The yeah the design team. Yeah, hats off, man. Great job, T thirty four. The um, yeah, it's it's mostly a lot a lot of rules. We're uh, at page sixty two, and it is just going through the the rules. Uh, it looks like a quite in depth game. I've actually only managed to watch a couple of um, uh, learning videos, which is kind of neat. Ooh, infantry and tank weapon, the piat. Yeah, so only I watch a few uh, a few demo videos. Uh, I'll probably have to go through this uh, with a cup of tea at some point, you know, to see um, how how deep it goes. But I think I think it does goes does go really really deep. And you got your missions, Stuart. Nice, great design, nicely presented. Um, got all these missions that you can you can do. What's this? British Kafholadung Magnetic Anti Tank Mine. Oh, okay. It's a mine. Ah, okay. All right. Ooh, Panzerfaust. Yeah, picture of Panzerfaust right there. Uh, M10. Don't know how often you'll see an M10 on the table. Um, moving along, you got a nice little splash page right here. Oh. Lots of color, really, really pretty. Campaign setting. Oh, how to play a campaign? How to do a campaign? Okay, this is this is text heavy. <laughs> uh, and then your cards, your platoon roster, and all these cards um, that you can you can either print out. I think they they have a there's a card set that comes with it. I recommend getting the card set um, when you're doing it, a token set and stuff like that, and all the charts. Oh, yes! Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, good way to end the book with some really nice art. Let's get back. All right, so that's Arctum Panzer, just a flip through. It looks really, really nice. It's a, it's a nicely designed book. So, so kudos to the, to the design team. You've done a great job. As for how to play the game, again, there are, there are a lot of YouTube channels that will do that. In fact, maybe at some point, I will give a game uh, of Aknu Panzer. Uh, if you want me, if you want me to run down the rules, let me know if you want me to. Um, but honestly, there are other guys out there doing a great job at promoting this game. Now, as as for me, I think this is a very nicely presented book, and uh, it's very very attractive. I mean, I mean, looking at all the art, and quite inform informative while also being a rules heavy. So like you know. It feels it feels meaty. It's not like one of those uh, rule books which is like a ten pages long and then the rest you know you it's arbitrary. Uh, this one I think it feels a bit more in depth. Even just looking at the uh, the card, it's a lot of information in the card, and they go through all the information. In fact, you know at the end of the year you are, you are a tank commander, and you know it's not as easy as it looks. Yeah. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's Aktung Panzer. That's the flip through of the book. It's pretty nice. If you're gonna get the book for your collection, I recommend it. It's it's worth it. It's got a nice art. It's it's worth uh, flipping through. I'm sure the rules will get a second edition at some point. Um, but you know, let me just say that uh, 
you know, pound for pound looks looks good. Like, looks like a good purchase. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's all I got to say about the flip through. Hope you like it. Uh, if you've actually got this rule book and you actually played the game, let me know what you thought of it. Did you like it? Um, and if you, there yeah, are some of you guys who are actually rules writers, you know, uh, I, I did you learn anything from uh, from this rule book on how to present your rule books? I mean, I've I've been flipping rule books now for like almost thirty years. And every every year, the, the rule books get more ni much nicer, much clearer, as opposed to those thick, you know, those very te text heavy uh, rules. And that's great. Um, so my question is to the guys who are writing their rules. You know, um, are you learning? Are you going to take anything from this? You know, in terms of design, I I hope you do because, you know, again, you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna sell a rule book with a miniature game with a mini with miniatures in it, put put pictures of miniatures. You know. I mean, it just makes sense. What does this very, very well? And uh, yeah, it's a good purchase. I like and subscribe if you like what I'm doing. And uh, don't forget to enjoy painting those figures.